This is uh, a tryout of a local road with oncoming traffic on uh, a Hardware 2 Tesla Model S with the current uh, version of the software, uh, which is uh, 8.1.17.17.4. And we will see how it handles under these conditions. One thing uh, compared to previous versions that you uh, might uh, find is that the, uh, now you are allowed to go faster than 50 kilometers an hour on uh, non-freeway type of roads. which is really nice. So if you have good conditions of the road, it's really, really nice that you can use autopilot, auto steer under these kind of conditions and do go faster than 50 kilometers an hour. So in, I think in this condition here, we have very clear lane markers, not any really sharp turns. We have intersections, but uh, this uh, there's this road has the right of way. It's really nice that you can uh, use autopilot. And in many situations, these are the conditions that you will find on on roads here in Scandinavia and here in Sweden. Even when you go long distance travel. Especially going uh, from uh, kind of not by the major routes, but uh, kind of a little bit in between the major routes. So cutting diagonal through, uh, through the country, for instance. And I think it performs really well. It's uh, very smooth in the in the turns. In previous versions, it was a little bit kind of going ping pong in the, in turns like this. And here, you it's making small small adjustments, but uh, you can barely notice it. It's uh, probably performing better than what I would do as a manual driver. So it's really really comfortable, nice. to the speed limit here. One thing that I recently learned is that if uh, you want to adjust your speed to the speed limit, uh, you can take the uh, autopilot stalk and you can hold it towards you for a few seconds. Then it adjusts the speed to the speed limit plus minus the offset that you have defined that you want to do so when we mark uh, when we pass the sign here and uh, the gps data will indicate that we have an 80 kilometers an hour road i'll now just press the stalk towards me and it will immediately jump to the new speed limit so it's a very comfortable way to adjust the speed of course you can adjust the the cruise control stalk up and down as well to adjust and you can do that when for instance uh, the gps data is not on speed limits is not up to date you need to do that so soon we will come to a, a section of the road where it will be going up and down and it is a little bit more winding and it will be interesting to see how it performs.
on uh, others kind of smaller local roads it has performed uh, quite poorly uh, and especially when you only have a center line and not uh, a line indicating uh, the shoulder of the road then it tends to actually work quite bad compared to uh, previous versions but under these conditions we have very good markers lanes the lines are really good it, it performs really well and it's nice that you can go above 50 kilometers an hour not to uh, a steep turn here but quite soon it will become a little bit more twisty in turning but still reasonably good markings on the road Now we are entering in the part of the road that is kind of going a little bit upside down and uh, also twisting and uh, you might see it on the traffic sign here coming up they're gonna be the road will be more narrow and it will go up and down and turn back and forth let's see how it behaves reasonably well now we're gonna come up here on a very steep left-hand turn so I will keep my hands on the wheel just to be safe uh, work mm, so and so and there we went for the center line which was not very comfortable with oncoming traffic and we're gonna go yeah okay it went over the line brought it back in quite soon but it was still over the line when night so now we are mainly out of that twisty and turny part of the section so I guess here it will perform quite good. Yeah, that actually went better than expected. I would probably take some extra care and always really keep your hands on the steering wheel in those kind of situations to immediately be able to take over but in these type of situations here you can relax a little bit more of course pay close attention to what's happening But it performs really good so we're coming into into the 
more residential area here so I will sign off but I would say um, my general feeling here is that we have uh, an improved version of autopilot and auto steer for with these kind of road situations thank you so much